Getting Steady is so easy on iOS 4, but you're probably confused and not sure what to install after that. In this video, I'll be showing you 5 useful Cydia tweaks and add-ons that is actually pretty handy for everyday use, especially with the iPhone 4. To look for any of these packages, just tap on the search icon on the bottom after they've launched Cydia. The first tweak is called Remove Background SB Settings. It's an add-on to the popular slide-out SB settings also found in Cydia. This tweak lets you kill all the processes on the multitasking bar in one click, making the device function faster by freeing up RAM. Just click on the Remove BG icon, then the bar will be empty. Handy if you're running low on RAM and don't want to kill the apps one by one. The next app is especially useful if you have an iPhone 3G or iPod Touch 2nd generation. Apple did not allow multitasking or even wallpaper on those devices. ZToggle lets you enable or disable multitasking and wallpaper. Disabling multitasking will make your device faster, while enabling will of course make it slower. Simply toggle the function on or off if you feel like the device is being too slow. Disabling multitasking on the iPhone 3GS or iPhone 4 will downgrade to the function found on the iPhone 3G. The third tweak is 5 Icon Switcher. It does exactly what it says. You can now customize the amount of icons found on the multitasking bar, allowing up to 10 icons in one page. The next one is called V Unlock, which stands for Volume Unlock. Instead of sliding to unlock every time you want to use the device, with this tweak installed, you can now unlock the iPhone or iPod Touch by tapping on one of the volume buttons. Useful for lazy people like me. The last one is exclusively for the iPhone 4 because the iPhone 4 is the only device with a flash. Spring Flash is an activator add-on letting you assign flashlight according to the different gestures you do on the phone. For example, I've set pressing down up volume buttons to turn the flash on and off. You can also assign different activation methods as well. As you can see here, I can turn on my iPhone flash whenever I press down up on the volume buttons. Alright, so that is the tip of today. To find out more iPhone and iOS related content, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook at the link below. Thanks for watching my video and for all your support. Here are some app suggestions from some of my followers on Twitter. Once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.